Now we will get into the square roots. We have to find out the units place first. 1 square ends with 1. 2 square is 4. 3 square is 9. 4 square is 16. So, I will write 6. 5 square is 25. So, I will write 5. 6 square, I will start from here. You will understand why I am doing that. 6 square is ending with 6, 36. 7 square is 49. So, it is ending with 9. 8 square is 64. So, it is ending with 4 and 9 square is 81, so it is ending with 1, and 0 square, 10 square is ending with 0. Observe this table very clearly, except 5 and 0. 5 square is ending with 5, 0 square is ending with 0. These two numbers are appearing only once, 5 and 0. But when you observe the remaining things, 1 square is ending with 1, and 9 square is also ending with 1. That means whenever your question is ending with 1, it could be a square of 1 or a square of 9. If the question is ending with 4, my answer can end with either 2 or 8. If my question is ending with 9, I can't directly say my answer will end with 3 because it can also end with 7. When I get 6, it can be a result of 4 square or it can be a result of 6 square. I get two possible answers for every question asked except the number ending with 5 and 0 because if my question is ending with 5, it should be a result of 5 square. If my question is ending with 0, it has to be a result of 0 square. So, for 5 and 0, it's very simple for me, but for the remaining things, I have to work on it. I'll get two possible answers, but I have to be in a position to say which is the right answer. If the question is 7, 5, 6, 9, and is asking us to find out the square root of it, because it is 9, listen to me very, very carefully now, because it is 9, my answer can be 3 square, it can also be 7 square. Units place of my answer can be 3, can also be 7. I'm eliminating 2. The left over number is bigger than with square. It is bigger than 8 square. So, I'll write 8 and 8 here. My answer can now be 83 or 87. This 75 is close to 8 square or 9 square. It's close to 64 or 81. This is close to 9 square. When it is close to the next square, my answer is bigger number. It is close to 9 square, so it is 87. If it was close to 8 square, my answer would have been smaller number. If it is close to smaller square, my answer will be smaller number. If it is close to bigger square, my answer will be bigger number. So, my answer for this question is 87. You will understand it better with couple of other questions. 15129. If the question is 15129, it is ending with 9, so it has to be 3 square or 7 square. So, my answer should end with 3 or 7. I have eliminated two numbers. It is 151. 151 is more than 12 square. So, that is 123 or 127. Now, compare this with 12 square and 13 square because it is in between 12 and 13 square. Is it close to 12 square 144 or is it close to 13 square 169? By observation, I can say it is close to 144. So, it is close to the smaller square. So, my answer will be smaller number. It will be 123. It can't be 127. Let us solve these six questions now and see whether we can answer it very quickly or not. If it is 4, it should be either 2 square or 8 square. So, my answer should be ending with 2 or 8. I have eliminated two numbers. It is 282. 282 is more than 16 square. So, it should be 162 or 168. 282, is it close to 16 square or is it close to 17 square? 282 is close to 17 square. So, my answer will be 168. The next question, it is 6. So, if it is ending with 6, it should be either ending with 4. 4 square is 16, 4 square or 6 square. So, my answer should be ending with 4 or 6. I will eliminate two numbers. The left over number is 213. 213 is more than 14 square. It should be 144 or 146. When I observe it carefully, it is in between 14 and 15 square, but it is close to 15 square. So, my answer will be 146. And if I get to the next question, 24025, it is comparatively easy because my answer should end with 5. It has to end with 5. I have eliminated. And this 240 is more than 15 square. So, my answer will be 155. 23409, my answer should end with 3 or 7. And I have eliminated 234 is more than 15. So, it should be 153 or 157. And 234 is close to 15 square. It is not close to 16 square. So, my answer will be 153. It can't be 157. 